हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो अर्लियर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द बिहेवियरल टेक्सोनोमी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट कीमो टेक्सोनोमी सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेफिनेशन कीमो टेक्सोनोमी इज द मैथड ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल क्लासिफिकेशन दैट इज बेस्ड ऑन द सिमिलैरिटीज इन द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सर्टेन कंपाउंड्स और वी कैन से बायोकेमिकल कंपाउंड्स Among the organisms being classified, or it is also known as chemo systematics. It is to classify, or we can say the aim is to classify and identify the organisms according to the conformable differences and similarities in their biochemical composition. So basically, we can say chemo taxonomy is a branch of taxonomy in which animals or we can say organisms are identified, classified, and discussed. described on the basis of the biochemical products or properties that they possess then introduction so all organisms coexist in the ecosystem and interact with each other in various ways in which chemistry plays a very major role so many approaches are there towards the taxonomy of organisms that is how they should be identified how they should be classified chemo taxonomy is the modern one that is we can say it is recent approach so the chemical compounds that are studied most are proteins amino acids nucleic acids and peptides that are present in living organisms so chemo taxonomy has proved very useful in the identification of organisms on the basis of these chemical compounds then history so it was first mentioned by apd kendole that is the concept was first mentioned by apd kendole and john griffith wogan was one of the pioneers of the chemo taxonomy so what is the task of a biochemical taxonomist the task of a biochemical taxonomist is to compare and contrast the compounds of the same class and performing the same function in different animals both as regard to their properties and their distribution in the different organs of the body so in this way we can identify and separate two types of species of a particular organism so this is the work of a taxonomist we can say biochemical taxonomist then the importance or the significance of chemo taxonomy chemo taxonomy has been used in all levels of classification chemical evidence has been in all the groups of plant and animal kingdom so the rise of chemo taxonomy is mainly due to the advancement in the analytical techniques for the chemical analysis that can detect even the trace amounts of the chemical compounds that is present in a living organism so the main objective is uh, to improve the existing system of plants and animal differentiation that is if a particular species of a plant and animal has yet to be discovered or classified on the basis of certain properties this will help that is chemo taxonomy will help them in the analysis or identification then to develop the present day knowledge of the natural relationship of plants and also to develop the present day knowledge of the phylogeny or evolutionary relationships of the animal that is how the present day species of animal differ from the past species of a particular animal then the stages in chemo taxonomy that is what are the stages various stages through which a uh, chemo taxonomist perform the task of identifying an organism so the first is choice of a group a taxonomic survey and then sound sampling of a particular sample that is an organism then choice mastery and modification of suitable chemical techniques in pilot survey then we have to choose what type of technique we should use in the identification there are lot of techniques that we are going to discuss in later phase full analysis of all materials that is whether proteins am amino acids or whatever there are presents in that organism interpretation and comparison with the data from all other sources adjustment of the classification as necessary that is after knowing the data we have to adjust and we have to uh, make it as a necessary in a particular position then treatment of any evolutionary relationship as indicated by the new data that is then we have to link it to the past data of that particular organism that is whether it has some uh, same qualities or characters or not in case of biochemical characteristics or the products that it possesses then biochemical products 
so physiology is the study of working of organs in a living being since these involve the chemicals of the body so these compounds are called biochemical evidences or biochemical products few have been taken into consideration here to derive the evidence for the evolution that is how organisms are related from to their ancestors so this is a table classifying the oh, all the biochemical products and having the characteristics and their evolutionary significance so first of all protoplasm so ev as we know every living cell possesses the protoplasm and its complexity increases from lower to higher level that is from a single cell amoeba to a uh, uh, multicellular organisms we can say vertebrates so what is its evolutionary significance so all living things have a common origin point or a common ancestor which in turn had a protoplasm then nucleic acids that are dna and rna so they are present in chromosomes the structure of these has been found to be similar in all the animals as we know dna always has two chains forming a double helix and each chain is made up of nucleotides each nucleotide tide has a pentose sugar a phosphate group and nitrogenous bases that are adenine guanine thymine and cytosine and rna contains uracil instead of thymine so evolutionary significance it has been proved that a single strand of dna of a one species can match with the other strand from another species if the alleles of the uh, two strands of any two species are close then digestive enzymes so chemical compounds that help in digestion are known as digestive enzymes for example pepsin and trypsin then its evolutionary significance the complexity in the composition of these enzymes increase from the lower to higher organisms but are fundamentally same that is they are all present in all living organisms whether in lower or higher category then the end products of digestion so proteins are uh, uh, it converted into amino acids carbohydrates into simple sugars and fats into fatty acids so evolutionary significance is that similarity of the end product is due to also the common ancestry then bio, uh, biochemical product is another phosphagenes that is these are the energy reservoirs of animals that are present in muscles they supply energy for synthesis of atp phosphoarginine is present in invertebrates and phosphocreatine in vertebrates so what is its evolutionary significance biochemically phosphoarginine and phosphocreatinine are related proof that the first coded animal should have been derived only from echinoderm like ancestors echinoderm are we can say the advanced invertebrates then the visual pigments that the porphyropsin and rhodopsin that an organism possess so they are present in the road cells of the retina fresh water fishes possess the porphyropsin and the marine water that and plus land vertebrates possess rhodopsin so evolutionary significance is that it proves that fresh water origin of the vertebrates then the serological evidence that are the experiment made in the composition of the blood also offer the good evidence for the evolution then there are some techniques we can say laboratory techniques that are used in the chemo taxonomy first is the chromatography so through this constituents of a mixture can be separated and subsequently identified it depends upon the different rate at which compounds in a solution move along a porous medium such as a piece of a filter paper so to understand this proper process a piece of a protein has been hydrolyzed and thus converted into a mixture of amino acids so a drop of this mixture is placed near the edge of a paper and at the other points drop of known amino acid are added as a markers so basically we can see in this diagram this is a particular spot we can see a non spot these are the non spots where we put the mixture and then these are the positions that we have obtained these are of different colors also so separation of four compounds by the paper chromatography another technique is 
electrophoresis so similar movement of dissolved substances through a fixed medium in this movement is brought about by electrical potential difference so a drop of a solution of mixed protein is put in the middle of a strip of the absorbent paper immersed in the buffer solution of appropriate ph so a potential difference of few hundred volts is provided by the means of an electrode at each the end whereupon the protein molecules move rather slowly toward one uh, or another one end or another so this is a diagram representing the use of chemo taxonomy here we have to consider three branches first is that is biodiversity so that if in biodiversity there are certain problem that is urbanization habitat destruction exploration of resources and poor records these can be solved by in situ conservation ex situ conservation cryopreservation and micropropagation in the same way in taxonomy if we have a confusing identity that is we do not know identity of a particular organism then it has been solved by identification classification and description of that animal in the same way in chemo taxonomy if there is unavailability of standards related methods adulteration in the samples there is some sort of mixing handy techniques of molecular biology that are not proved useful then we have to resolve here that is chemical tools then the tlc that is thin layer chromatography hplc glc gas layer chromatography spectrophotometer and certain molecular techniques like rapd aflp snp and bar coding so this is a basically a particular we can say a marker compound that is used in chromatography for identification of certain compounds okay so this is all about chemo taxonomy and its importance significance and the approach let me tell you some difference between chemo taxonomy and cyto taxonomy because these two are different branches of taxonomy so taxonomy which is based on the cytological information of a cell like its chromosome number its bacteria etc it is known as cyto taxonomy but the taxonomy which is based upon the chemical constituents of the animals like the dna sequences is called the chemo taxonomy so this is all about the chemo taxonomy and yeah if you like my video please share like share and subscribe my channel